seems like a long while since I did an unboxing video. Uh, another delivery from eBay. Can you tell what it is? Let's use scissors for that instead of a knife since I've got the original box. I think this is the first one I've got with an original box. It's used, obviously, and it's not brand new in box. box is a bit tatty. So this is the uh, mini display MZ, Sony MZ-R70. Got quite a good deal on eBay on this, but they're still much more expensive than they were a couple of years ago when I first started buying them. I guess I'm a collector now. Now, you, if you have a look in the card that just popped up at the top or in the um, description box, you'll see a video that I shot earlier on in which I unboxed this. And it wasn't working. There was a problem with um, the, the controls or maybe the thing that pushes down and um, instructs the player that the door is closed. And it, I just couldn't get it to work. And it wasn't really worth me taking it to pieces again. And having a look for it because I'm pretty short of time. But this one came up fairly cheap as a replacement, and hopefully, this one will work. It was listed as working, it's been quite well packed, which is nice to see. Well done to those that stuck around long enough on one of my earlier videos to see my request to put coffee in the comments. So, thanks to all of you. That's Cassette MD, Aaron Blair, Amoeba Virus. Mindset Central, I Don't Smile 666, and Paul Roach. Thanks very much. Excellent. It's not quite as in, not as good condition as the other one. It just happens to be a bit dusty. But I want to use it. So it's a little bit worse condition. But I wonder if I might be able to polish that out at some point. So it's looking pretty good. Bit of a mark there. Dent there. Looks like there's a dent, a little dent there. There, yeah, there is a little dent now. Not a big deal. I'm gonna mark there so I look off camera. Mark there. I might be able to polish out as well. Let's have a look at the battery. On the on the last video I did, the battery um, cover had been snapped off by the previous owner, and I fixed that. A little bit of a corrosion on there but otherwise it's in good nick. Let's get a battery. That's a tight fit. It's a good start isn't it? No disc in here I don't think. Let's grab a disc. We really like to keep my mini disc demonstration, my demonstration disc handy for this sort of thing. Really, let's see what happens here. Oh, sounds a bit loud. Can you hear that? Ah, so in this one, this when I press play, it's now playing the track, but it's not spinning the disc, so it must spin the disc and take some into the buffer before you before you press play. It sounds a bit rough when it's playing. Let me take this mic off for a second. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, press fast forward. At the moment you can't hear the disc because it's not spinning. I'll press fast forward and then you'll be able to hear it read a batch of data into the buffer and then stop the disc to save battery.
So I'm assuming I've got headphones handy. Um, so I'm assuming that's going to work. And this is a bonus because I didn't have a remote for the other one. Not that you really need a remote for these because the, the player's got the display on it. So that's normally good enough for me. But I found lately I've been using this Panasonic, which doesn't have a display, and sticking it in my pocket and then just having its inline remote attached to the pocket but on the outside and you quickly get used to where the controls are so you can quickly flick tracks without taking the uh, without taking the player out of your pocket so I'm getting quite into the inline remotes now there we go, so we've got a nice Sony bag, original bag for it in good condition ooh what's that, that's that is a case for a battery. I think they used to come with a Sony battery, which have long since died, and that was the case for it, I guess. And this is the remote. So unlike other Walkman, this is a Panasonic one with a display on it. This one doesn't have a display, which would be quite handy, it's all the same, because once you get used to the button presses, you don't really need the display, especially if you're listening to a, a Walkman that you, sorry, a disc that you already know uh, the tracks on. No, there it is, there's play. There we go, that works. Next track. So it's either play on next track, then skip back a track and stop. Let's get it playing again. Volume. So we've got pause. Track mark, which I'm not going to press because I don't want to track mark in the middle of the mini disc. Uh, edit, ooh, so you can edit it on here as well. So that's better. So we've got a um, hold button, which is quite big. And not working. Well, it does work, it's just really hard to press. So we've got hold. Select if it's not playing, play for uh, next track, a previous track, stop, volume up and down, a pause button, and also is that caps, track mark, and edit. Oh, here's a tip quite often I've been putting mini disc players in and out of my pocket, mini disc recorder players, and press the track mark and end up with a track mark in the middle of a track. So uh, there's a tip, um, always right protect your mini discs and uh, unfortunately there's no clip on it which is a shame, headphones go in there so very pleased with that, nice little player give it a bit of a polish up and also in here we've got the original operating instructions, this is nice to have a little booklet normally they're a fold out sheet and they're hard to navigate. Well, that would be interesting reading through that. Original guarantee, that's expired no doubt. And uh, notes about the headphones. Oh, we've got two of those. That I think gives the same warning as that. So I wonder if this guy had two mini disc players and one of these cards is for the other player. Oh, it's nice to get the full set apart from the headphones, which I wouldn't want to use anyway. Not in 2020. So I'm very pleased with that. I shall spend some nerdy time later on reading through the instruction manual. Brilliant. So there we go. A working MZ R70. Thanks for watching.